Hello everyone, my name is Jose Nava. I am here from Valley High School. I'm here at the Long Beach Comic Con Convention Center. To my left, I have here, what is your name again? Patrick I forgot. Moss. Patrick. Patrick Moss. Thank I'd like to ask you, Patrick, um, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm an animator for DreamWorks. You're an animator, so you work with the computers, the software, yeah, all the yeah. yeah, through 3D computer animation mostly. But yeah, it's all on computer now. Mostly. Sounds interesting. I'd like to ask you, how important is creativity to you? Uh, it's incredibly important. I mean, the whole job is creativity. And just for me, outside of my own work, you know, I try to do all these drawings and comics and cartoons. And, you know, without creativity, I don't think that none of that exists. So it all comes kind of from your own head and being around other creative people is really important. So things like this are amazing, just to be around other people who are creative also. Um, how has creativity affected your life and in, in your profession and as you right now of today? Sure. Well, creativity has uh, really changed my whole life. I mean, without it, I wouldn't be doing animation. I wouldn't be drawing. And it's really kind of let me kind of live my dream. I'm, it, I could not complain. I have one of the coolest jobs in the world. It's still stressful like any job. I think any creative job is going to be stressful no matter what. But it's hard to complain when somebody, you know, lets you animate or draw for a living. Uh, it's pretty amazing. So yeah, it's affected my life a ton. From what I, you know, I moved from New York to follow my, you know, creative passion, which was animation. So it's really changed my life a lot, but for the better always. It's been cool. Um, so basically, creativity is not a walk in the park, you could say. Yeah. And I like that's why my other question to you is, and if you have any advice for the students that are having trouble reaching their creative side, or just believe that they don't have what it takes, or the best advice you can give to those that want to be creative but just seem to have trouble defining it. Sure. Uh, research as much as you can. If you want to be an artist, look at as much art as you can. Practice as much as you can. Try to take classes. Look at tutorials online. If you want to write, just write. Just do it. That's the best advice I can give anybody who wants to be creative is just do the thing that you want to do and try it and put it out there. And it's pretty an amazing time right now that you can put your art on the internet, you can put your music out there, you can put your writing out there and people will see it. And it's hard always to get the right person to see it, but just do the thing that you want to do and surround yourself with other people who want to do that thing too. And being around these other creative people will really help inspire you. Even when you're feeling kind of low and you don't have anything in you, just surround yourself with this stuff. That's why being here is amazing, you know, even if you don't, it's just a really creative environment. Surround yourself with artists, surround yourself with musicians, writers, take inspiration from anything you can. That's the best advice I can give. And don't, just keep going, keep working at it. Thank Always. you so much for those inspirational words and I'd like to ask you, do you have any upcoming projects that you would like to share or you would like us to know? Um, yeah, I, I recently, wrote and illustrated this book called You Can't Be Anything, which is exactly the opposite of the advice that I just gave you. But I think I just have a dark sense of humor. So it's kind of about, um, it's sort of demotivational, but I hope really that it will kind of give people a little kick to do what they want to do. Um, yeah, so you can, it's on Amazon. Um, it's on the website, youcan'tbeanything.com. And that's it, yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks so much. Thanks, Good Patrick. Right, man. Enjoy the day. Right. You too.